couldn't get out. He tried, but he couldn't get through the bars, couldn't break them. Stephen, there weren't any bars him. on the windows. Stephen, mate. you Flames weren't there, you were here. And he screamed, didn't try and break through them anymore. Come on, mate. I saw him struggling. Now, get a grip on yourself. It didn't up. happen like that. Stephen, you just make, you're just imagining. Remember that this is different. You weren't there, you didn't see it. It's me, isn't it? I'm a jinx. Everyone related to me dies in a fire. Frank is not related to you, Stephen. He's still my brother. Listen to me. And he's gone. Listen. Who's going to be next? I loved him, just like I loved Mum and Dad, and how they got. Oh, oh, Dad, darling, it's all right. It's all right. It's, it's not fair. It's not fair. Dear Lord, please bless the soul of dear young Frank, who you took from us tonight. Although we can't understand why it had to happen. Please give us the strength and the faith to accept his death. Look after him and tell him that we loved him and will always remember him. Tell him I'm sorry that I didn't make him leave and I hope he'll forgive me because I can't forgive myself. Please bless us all still here, especially Bobby, and make her grief bearable. Amen. Maybe we should call the doctor. Gonna give it one more go. Bob, why don't we get you to bed, eh? Come on. Can't sit here all night. Bobby? Shifania. Something I could do. All right. I'm waiting for Frank. No, Frank's not coming, Mum. I'm sorry. I wish for your sake that that wasn't true. Bobby, can you understand what I'm saying to you? Yeah, I'm okay. Let's get you up to the spare bed. Who's there? It's Sergeant Barnett. Sorry about the late hour, Pippa, but oh! it's Bobby. Well, I was starving. There was I no food yesterday. in the house, so I decided to go out and get a hamburger. I'll never complain when there's no food in the fridge again. Oh, I don't care to complain about anything. Oh, and then I ran into Rue and Simon. They were going out to the Abbey Creek RSL. So you went with them? Yeah, well, I thought I'd teach my wife a lesson. <laughs> and after the RSL closed, we went to a nightclub for a while. And then I went home and saw what had happened and Sergeant Barnett drove me out here. That's it. God, I don't know why he thought I was in the house. There's no way he would have slept through a fire. Well, somebody did or else they got trapped. It must have been whoever lit the fire. No, I can't think of any other explanation. But who? A vagrant, maybe? Someone trying to break into the store? So you think it was an accident? Oh, I can't tell yet, but we should know in a few hours. Frank! Hey, good day, mate. You lie! <laughs> I'm so mistaken. This one's mine. Look, do you mind if I use your phone? No. I'd like to put a few people's minds at rest. Oh, poor Celia. I'd completely forgot. Well, she won't mind being woken up for news like this. There's no way I'm living out of my sight again. Well, that suits me. <laughs> Earth-moving quote. It's not in my book. Oh, oh, the Earth-moving quote. Is that any more quotes? He's got legs. It's over here. Oh, have you seen it anywhere? No. Christopher's crying. Yeah, well, he's probably wet. You know where the dry nappy is. No, no, I can't. I can't. I'm running late. It's my toast. Isn't anyone going to change his nappy? Why don't you? Okay, here we have. Hey, guys. What do you reckon? You look funny. Oh, I'll cut it out with you. I feel bad enough as it is. Oh, I'm looking worse than you feel. I think you look fantastic. Yeah, very classy threads. Threads? <laughs> well, that's what we called them when I was a young man. People are stopped him crying. Good girl. What's up with you, Frank? Pretty quiet. Hey. Thought you'd be glad to be alive. Of course he is. Don't look it. You haven't answered my question. Don't you like being alive? <laughs> well, I knew I was alive all along, right? What any surprise to me? I mean, I'm glad I wasn't in the fire, but you know, Bobby and me have lost everything. Hey, we haven't lost each other. And the car. Well, Frank, we could live in the car. I mean, where are we going to live? We've got no clothes, nothing. We're going to live with us until we sort something sure. out. Sure. <coughs> no, thanks, but there's no room. 
I'm in one of the caravans. There's plenty empty, unfortunately. Yeah, great idea. I'll get one ready. After school. Speaking of which... Yeah, off you go, mate. Oh, it's lucky you're the boss, so you'd get a grab over the knuckle, eh? Hey? Oh, come on, it's a special day. All right. I'll give Rue a ring and tell her we're going to be late. So how about it? Are you going to move into one of the vans? Yeah, I guess it'll have to do. Thanks. I mean, I know they're not palaces, but they're not that bad. No, it's not that. Hey, it'll be all right. We'll get you back together. Yeah, well, we didn't need half that junk anyway. Oh, speak for yourself. Look, we'll replace everything you want replaced, promise. I've got to go. You off to work? In a while. That's someone I've got to see first. Um, I just wanted to say thanks oh. about last night. Well, all that stuff you said I didn't want to hear, you were right. <laughs> I know. Poor Alf copped it when he got home, but didn't he? Oh, I never said I practised what I preached. No, I'm going to try and think before I open my big mouth in future. Because when I thought Frank was dead, I realised I said all this stuff that I didn't even mean. And it was too late to take it back. Still can't really take it back. Yeah, but at least I can try. I've got a second chance, Ailsa, and I'm not going to blow it. Good on you. No, I just went kind of blank. Like I stopped existing or something. It was really weird. I knew before, but I know even more now that Frank's the most important thing to me. You're very lucky. Yeah. It's terrible, isn't it, you know? It takes something as awful as that to make people realise what's really important. Yeah. Um, can I use your phone? Yeah, sure, go for it. I just want to make sure he's OK before I go to work. <laughs> Got over the excitement yet? <laughs> Never. Um, what can I do for you? Coffee or something? I'm here to see what I can do for you. I'm like what? Good heavens, girl, you've just lost everything you possess. There must be something I can do to help. Look, why don't you and Frank come and stay with me temporarily? I'd really enjoy your company. Oh, thanks a lot. But we've already been fixed up. We're moving into a caravan tonight. Oh. Well, something else. Oh, look, thanks for worrying, but we'll be okay. I don't think you understand. I want to be useful. I want to be able to do something for my daughter at long last. I mean, it, it's my duty apart from anything else. Oh, well, if it's only your duty. Bobby, please, at least allow me to buy you a new wardrobe. Well, thanks, but, um, well, I don't have any clothes to put in it. I am serious. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry, but I couldn't resist. Yeah, OK, I'll let you buy me some clothes, but on one condition. What's that? Well, that I get to choose them. All right. It's a deal. Thanks, Dad. There's no doubt about it. The fire was deliberately lit. Well, how can you be so sure? The remains of a Molotov cocktail were found in the store. Now, can you think of anyone who... Just that young man. Take a seat, Bob. You know, the one I caught. Oh, that Dodge character. Yes. Surely not, isn't he? Still, in, still in custody, as far as I know. Well, he seemed like a very unsavoury youth, and he did threaten me. Well, I'll check if you like. Please do. But I think you'll find he was well out of the way at the time. Well, if it wasn't him, who'd want to do something like that? Didn't need the insurance money, did you, Celia? Bob Barnett! I'm sorry. Seriously, can you think of anyone? Well, apart from that young hooligan, no, no one. No, me neither. Well, whoever it was, they won't be causing anyone any more trouble. One can't help feeling sorry about such a, a torturous death. Yes, maybe we'll never know who it was. <laughs> it's all right to be loved then, eh? I wonder how long she's going to keep it up for. Not that I'm complaining. Checking to see if I'm OK in less than an hour. Nuts. She had a rough time, we all have. Yeah, I guess so. They slow down, isn't it? Phil's car. Looks like it, doesn't it? Where the hell is he? No, no, Stacey, uh, just checking. It's not important. Now, all right, you enjoy yourself. I'll, I'll talk to you later. Right, well, he did ring as soon as he got the flat because the spare was flat too. And he said he'd spend the night down here and go back up there this morning. Where did he ring from? The store. 